during a person's life, and psychologists have seen a lot of this, and there, there are uh, distinct stages people go through wherein they uh, learn how to perceive, this is empty, uh, how they perceive reality. And during a person's life, there are these stages where they learn very obvious, um, what do you call it, whatever, um, mental skills. Oh, and humor also. Um, I'm not just making jokes of it. This is something that happens um, as a person grows up. Did I forget the picture? Well, they, what happens is that they, uh, or people, everybody, um, pe people, um, humor happens spontaneously. Uh, and it generally coincides with when a stage is completed. It demonstrates mastery of the stage. It also shows that they understand this new mental skill that they have. Um, so the first stage, and that's a lot of it is built off of schemata, schem schematics. Uh, like, oh yeah, <laughs> I was, okay, so this is a schematic of anything. Um, so right now I'm like, okay, grab egg. And that takes a million schemata. Um, but I'm looking for grab carrot. Oh, that's meat. Uh, grab carrot. Plural. Yes. Oh, there's still some sugar left in there. Okay. So, you, oh, all, I mean, okay, so this is pre verbal. This is pre verbal. And he, I didn't do that on purpose, but that's a good example. So. Um, but humor is like, what, what, what can a child do, which is, oh my gosh, where's the peeler? I'm freaking out, where did I, I just had it. That's why I'm, okay, there it is. So I need to get a garbage plate. Because I'm going to peel these. Uh, the, what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay, so you, you, oh, a child, I was going to do an example of like, now a child knows what is an object, motoric, schemata, they'll, what they'll do is they'll grab a bottle, and they'll, they'll be like, oh, I'm going to sleep on the bottle. They, actually, that happens. Um, but yeah, schemata build up a lot of other things, like, uh, you can imagine how many schematics it takes to say, elephant. Um, and there it is, there's an elephant. An elephant is also part of conceptual schemata. Oh, but like, what's a verbal joke that kids will do? Um, they'll point at an elephant and say, oh, haha, that's a mouse. Or they'll, usually, you know, with the family pet, they'll say um, that. Um, but conceptual schemata, like, Say the concept of an elephant. Well, okay, I was going to do it reverse, um, but basically you can understand how elephant is kind of a concept because it's made up of parts. That's what is a concept. And I'm not defining things here, but here is another, a better concept. It's definitely like, that's a concept, beautiful. And you can see how it's sort of a confusing situation. That's a very small carrot here. So why am I making carrots? Uh, carrot cake. Uh, and I didn't have enough brown sugar for like regular cookies and... Uh, oh, but the concept involved is I have no... Uh, People, people have been really eating a lot of them and eating a lot of cooks, cookies and cakes here. So I'm, I'm like, you know, we're going cheapo. But yeah, here's a concept. And what is, uh, oh, conceptual. Like what can you use concept? 
um, for a joke or something. So easy one. Concept of an elephant gets combined with the concept, like the conceptual attribute of of a, a, a fish, and they say somebody who is making a joke says, "Oh, what's a fish combined? What's a what's a something about a fish and an elephant?" There's a joke, and there's the so you got a concept. Con no, not concepts. Speed schematics actually will become a script, but they don't. People use the term agent for a schem schematics that are in a script. They'll, they'll say, "Oh yeah, they got really dumbed down into agents," and basically scripts make up the bulk of the joke. That's why humor is, because we're getting out of childhood here. So, uh, a script is like that. Um, so these are agents, um, I'm not numbering, these are symbols, um, but then even these are like agents. Greet customer. See, that's not really a schematic. There's a million little motoric schemata involved in this. That is a lot of carrots. And how are we going to make it sweet without sugar is the secret ingredient. Apples. But I don't even have any apples because I have to use applesauce. So this... Anyway, that's just the, that is, there's nothing funny about this. Hello. This, this is really not funny. Um, this is literally the most dumb, dull, they call it cognitive science. I mean, cognitive psychology, just because they're looking for a word like cognitive. Oh, that sounds smarter than mental. <laughs> um, trust building script. So now we're into the legitimate developmental stages. The first stage is trust building. Before anything else can happen, you have to have physiology, safety, esteem. These are basic trust building elements that Maslow identified are all part of But when, when somebody has all these basic trusts, then they are sane, and then they can start using humor that's related to trust building. A uh, uh, humor experiment involved to giving people these, um, they had them pick up something a bunch of times, and it was really like regular, and then one of them would be like weirdly heavy and then everybody would laugh and then they'd ask them how funny was that and of course and the funniness was about the incongruity so that's what a joke is it's like when you have two scripts of this weighs this much this this is that and then when the incongruity happens it's funny so imagine picking up your coffee and then it's like oh that's actually really heavy uh, yeah, that's a really funny imagination. Now I need to get it. Okay, so rules, musculature is the next stage. And that stage, this stage, is a stage of development and people learn scripts corresponding to like hey I'm gonna be a uh, I'm gonna do this or something and then and then they also learn rules uh, that's 
that's like the mental part of it. This, the psychology is the rule. The musculature is like, I have to do this because my can opener is, is broken. So I have to, I'm pretty good at it though. So here's the joke. Uh, what do you get if you have three cakes and, uh, at lunch and then three cakes for tea? And then what do you get? So if you get a tummy ache, okay, conscience ambulatory. Where did I? There it is. Okay, there's the applesauce. May need some more of that. I need the spoon, and I need to get going with this because these videos last for so long, and it's really bad at this. But I, I could, I know, because I, the other day I made some brownies in like five minutes, and thank goodness I did because we had a. Dignit there was a dignitary visit. Visit um, conscience. That's another stage. So that's like morality. And people, this is interesting. Ambulatoriness. Um, so now you, you can walk around and then you realize, oh, that person can walk around also. And when they walk around, they're making a decision to be there. Oh my goodness. I forgot the butter and it's in the freezer. Okay. Good thing we have a microwave. So here's the con. I only have one joke for this. Okay. Uh, it has to do with clams. I have a very good reminder. Oh, what do you call? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the joke. Something about the clam is shellfish. Raw industry. Okay. This, I mean, you can see the joke right there. But at this stage, people begin to think, oh, there's... It takes like 10 seconds in the microwave. I guess more like longer because it's frozen. So at this stage, people understand different roles. So like maybe a joke about a construction worker or there's some in and it, it occurs because you realize oh not everybody you're leaving the family not for, not literally you're still kind of developmental stage early yes and you're like hey um how do they build a house and then and then you call up the construction team and that this is who shows up so you can see there's some humor when something is incongruous or maybe that's even like satire. I'm making, I don't know what this is, but point being, he shows up and uh, the, the basic schematics here is like this, this kid, I don't even think he can build a house, let alone. And then he's like, hey, I can, I can do it. And they're like, Shh. You can build a house? Yeah, I can build a house. And it's like... So this comes out really slow. But that's really sweet enough. Okay, so this kid is like, yeah, I, you, you've hired the team and they're like, well, let me talk to your manager. And then the manager walks over. And I, you're the you're the manager. Yeah, I'm, I'm the manager. See, here's my clipboard. Oh yeah. Well, let me talk to your boss. And then you go in and you talk to the boss, and she's like, "Well, you want to build it? You want? I don't know. There's no joke here, but you can see that within a script." Um, that's, okay, this was still a little frozen. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I'm making. So here's the next developmental stage is identity. No, it's true, I'm just gonna put the, I'm gonna get the oven heating up, because I'm almost there. I'm almost there, but we're almost there, so. 
Here's everybody's favorite. I don't know if you can recognize the live action version, but I, identity is also just like, oh, about, uh, say you want to make a joke about, oh, um, it's not really a joke. I don't know why. But, see, that's the thing. There's no humor in it. Um, I was going to make a joke about Biden being old, but that's not really even identity. That's that's just like not funny. But there's a I don't I don't know if I I don't have time to do it, but it, I was going to explain this one way that people classify humor. They don't just say like, "Oh, that's funny" or "That's not funny." Humor researchers there believe it or not that Oh yeah, I was going to say something about Guinness Book of World Records. But oh, here's a here's a cat lady with um, Garfield is the classic. It, you know the uh, the um, well, what is going on here? <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Lifestyle is psychiatrists say that lifestyle is the <clears throat> word of the year and anyway there's a lot of identity jokes <laughs> cat ladies they shouldn't they shouldn't be able to vote uh, Jenner said then after identity stage people don't worry about identity anymore and then they just get into generativity. That's when you're like, oh, I'm stagnant. Nothing's happening in my life. Um, oh, raisins and nuts. That's the secret ingredient is yummy stuff. Wow, that's what a, what a great secret. That's, that's that book, The Secret. How do you make something really yummy? Buy a bunch of delicious stuff. I'm, I'm kidding. I, generativity is, is a stage when I was plan. I'm almost done with these cookies, but I was planning to, I probably still could look up a joke. I could, I could look up a joke. If I wanted, I could probably use some more raisins. Okay, and then that's the last stage of identity, not. There's other, st I think there's probably even more, but these are distinct stages that people go through with psychology. Wow, I even have a conclusion to this video. My cooking show is. So you're 45 and single. I'm not, but uh, 45 and single, and then people at this stage start to look back on the last 10 of the years of their life and say, I, I don't know about that. I'm not gonna do that again. And also they look at the next 10 years of their life and by then they're an AARP and can't even remember. But I think that there was a picture that was a joke. So let's see. Yes, okay, this was from the American Stroke Association, and I mean, that's just a joke. Somebody shows up with a stroke, and you say, go for a run? That... I don't know, there's one plate, and then... Here's the other plate here, and it's looking really tasty. 